many people when they are lonely they feel miserable only when they are with somebody else they feel good this is one of the basic problems every human being has to face if you feel this way then it is not only you the way children are brought up is the cause of this whole misery no child is accepted the way he is he is rewarded only if he follows the directions of his parents teachers society these directions may go against his nature because they were not made by him they were not made for him somebody made those directions those rules years ago and they are still being followed while raising children today naturally every child is displaced he is not his own self he is somebody else he is trying to be somebody else that somebody else is given to you by society by others so when you are lonely there is nobody to dictate you you simply relax in your own nature there is no need to perform anything because there is nobody who is seeing you can just be yourself that relaxing into your nature makes you feel guilty because you are going against your parents you are going against your teachers you are going against society and they have told you that you in yourself are not right you have accepted this and this has been conditioned into your mind deeply whatever you do on your own is always condemned whatever you do following others is always praised in your aloneness there is nobody else there so you don't need to act you can simply relax into what you truly are but your mind is full of these thoughts full of these conditionings given to you by others these thoughts do not let you relax completely even when you are alone being truly alone from others and being truly alone from your own thoughts is true aloneness and that is beautiful you still do not understand the meaning of being truly alone that is why you think being alone is a negative thing so when you are with others you always try to be your best in front of them so knowingly or unknowingly these others are dictating and when you are alone this mind that has been conditioned that has been given to you by others is dictating to you that is why many people always want to be with someone they cannot be alone society has made you feel that relaxing into your own nature makes you unworthy and that is why you always want to always be with somebody and do not want to relax into your own nature the other person keeps you tense the other is there judging your every moment every action every gesture you are going to make then you just act and you just perform an act that you have been told is right that you have been told is supposed to be good then your mind feels good it is according to your own conditioning your mind feels happy that you did well that you are great people need crowds this is the psychological reason people always want to belong to a nation to a race to some kind of group people cannot be alone they have to be surrounded by people continuously only then they can keep the tension alive the act alive in the crowd they cannot be themselves why do you feel afraid alone to be alone truly alone is one of the most beautiful experiences you are no longer bothered by others you are no longer forcing yourself to do things that are expected alone you can do what you want to do alone you can feel what you want to feel thinking is needed where it's necessary but you should also be able to detach yourself from these thoughts when needed to be completely alone and peaceful when you want to to stop this overthinking completely you can start with at least 5 minutes a day being completely alone completely switching off the thoughts completely alone from the crowd completely alone from your own thoughts and just being you have to learn to say shut up to the mind and allow your nature full freedom with so many thoughts in your mind you are not really alone all those voices of your parents society your teachers your politicians are recorded in the mind and the mind goes on repeating them it is a very great strategy played by society 
against the individual. Sometimes you might have noticed that it is not your mind that is deciding. It is the mind of the society that has been imposed upon you by certain ideas. In whatever crowd you happen to be, the crowd happens to give its mind to you. And slowly, slowly you forget that this is not your real self. One who knows how to be ecstatic, joyful, alone, knows how to be ecstatic and joyful even in a crowd. He has his own mind even in a crowd. This is the beginning of freedom, an authentic human being. Unless you can be completely blissful in your total aloneness, remember that anything you think is happiness, is just deception. In the beginning you might feel miserable because there is nobody to tell you how beautiful you are. There is nobody to praise you. There is nobody to say good things about you. There is nobody just silence around you. But a little patience, a little practice will take you to much more beautiful things in life. It will take you to something much more higher than happiness. Pure ecstasy, pure bliss.